hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so here is another question on half wave rectifier so here the question is that a voltage of 200 cos omega t is applied to a half wave rectifier with a load resistance of 5 kilo ohm find the maximum current dc value of the current RMS value of the current, a ripple factor, TUF, okay, TUF here stands for transformer utilization factor, okay, and efficiency, okay. Now here, this TUF is a new concept here, okay, which we have come across in all the previous problems, we have covered all these parameters, but TUF is new, transformer utilization factor. So, because this transformer utilization factor is mentioned in the question, it means that there is a transformer which is connected to the main supply. So, the first let us draw the circuit diagram. So, basically the circuit diagram will be like this. And uh, nothing has been given about the forward resistance, so the diode is ideal, no forward resistance. And it has a load resistance RL of 5 kilo ohm. Okay. Now, here there is no mention of the turns ratio, no mention about the main supply. This 200 cos omega t is basically the voltage of the secondary appearing across the secondary winding. This is the secondary winding voltage which is 200 cos omega t. And how do you know that there is a transformer involved in this question? Because of this. Because this TUF is mentioned which is the transformer utilization factor, it means that there is a transformer involved, no mention, no data about the turns ratio, no mention about the main supply, nothing. So this here, 200 cos omega t, which is applied to this half wave rectifier circuit, this up to there, from this point to this point, this is the half wave rectifier circuit. This is applied to the half wave rectifier circuit means this here is the voltage appearing across the secondary winding and the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage here is 200 volt this this is very important to understand okay now we have got it now first the maximum current now here this is the maximum voltage you know applied to the half wave rectifier when the voltage is maximum this will lead to maximum current okay so when the voltage will be 200 volt the maximum current will flow and that value of maximum current is equal to v secondary max by rf plus rl here the diode is ideal so this is equal to 0 0 ohm. rl is equal to 5 kilo ohm and this is equal to 200 volt so it is 200 by 5 kilo ohm which is equal to it is coming 40 milliampere yes 40 milliampere so the maximum value of current flowing through the half wave rectifier circuit is equal to 40 milliampere this okay this then we have what is asked the DC value of the current now DC value is the same as the average value this is equal to I max by pi that is 40 milliampere by 
pi. So that is equal to if we calculate 40 by 3.14. Okay. That is equal to 12.73 milliampere. That is equal to IDC, DC current 12.73 milliampere. Okay, this. So we have got the maximum, we got the DC current. Next, we have is the uh, RMS value. Then the RMS value formula always remember that RMS, which is equal to the AC value, which is equal to I max by or peak value of current divided by 2. That is equal to 40 milliampere by 2 which is equal to 20 milliampere okay this so i rms is equal to 20 milliampere this then what we have is the ripple factor okay ripple factor formula if you remember ripple factor is equal to I RMS by IDC whole square minus 1 root over basically it is RMS value by average value whole square minus 1 so here as we are already we have the RMS and average values of the current we are using that if you use the voltage values also it will be correct here as the forward resistance is 0 but we are using the current values. So this is here equal to RMS is 20 milliampere by I average is 12.73 whole square minus 1 root over. So that is equal to it is coming around 1.21 that is the ripple factor. Then the important concept here which is the transformer utilization factor TUF so basically transformer utilization factor TUF is the ratio of the DC power delivered to the load divided by the AC rating of the secondary winding of the transformer. Okay, transformer secondary winding this now we know that the DC power delivered to the road which is equal to PDC output is equal to IDC square into RL that we are clear about that okay here this AC rating of the transformer secondary it consists of two parts product of two values first is the RMS value of the supply okay which is AC AC supply we can say multiplied with the RMS value of the half wave rectified current okay this it is very important to know the difference between the two okay the AC supply is sinusoidal okay sinusoidal okay this is for the secondary winding okay always remember this is for the secondary winding AC supply is sinusoidal now here I made it clear that this 200 cos omega t it is appearing across the secondary winding okay so the RMS value of this will be equal to here the RMS value 
of the supply across the secondary winding will be equal to V max by root 2. Don't make the mistake of writing it here V max by 2. It is not. We are talking about the supply. Supply is sinusoidal, not half wave rectified. Okay, supply is sinusoidal. For sinusoidal, RMS value is equal to V max by root 2 or I max by root 2. Okay, now when we are talking about the RMS value of the current, RMS value of half wave rectified current, in that case, the RMS value of the half wave rectified current is equal to I max by 2. Here it is I max by 2 because the current is half wave rectified. For half wave rectified current, the uh, RMS value is I max by 2. For half wave rectified voltage, the RMS value is V max by 2. But here we are talking about the supply voltage. So here it will be V max by root 2 into I max by <clears throat> so here it is V secondary winding, okay, secondary winding maximum value by root 2. So here it is equal to 200 by root 2, okay, 200 by root 2, 200 cos omega t, that is the maximum value is 200, or 200 by root 2 into I max. I max we have calculated the maximum value of current is 40 milliampere, which is 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 will convert into ampere. 10 to the minus 3 by 2 that is equal to 2.828 watts that is the secondary transformer rating this then the DC power delivered to the load IDC square into RL that is equal to here IDC is equal to how much 12.73 milliampere into RL is 5 kilo ohm. Okay, that will be equal to 12.73 into 10 to the power minus 3. 12.73 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square into RL, which is 5000. 5 into 10 to the power 3. That is equal to it is coming around. Twelve point seven three into ten to the power minus three whole square into five thousand zero point eight one watts. It is zero point eight one watts. Okay, so this here the ratio transformer utilization factor, which is the DC power delivered to the load. And the AC rating of the transformer secondary that is equal to 0 0.81 by 2.828 that is equal to the value is coming 0 0.81 divided by 2.828 that is equal to 0 0.286 0 0.286 this that is the transformer utilization factor then we have finally is the efficiency of the rectifier so rectifier efficiency is simple It is the DC output power divided by the AC input power. So here the AC input power is equal to, the remember the formula IRMS square into RF plus RL. Here it is IDC square into RL. Okay, this. 
here this one we have calculated it is 0 0.81 watts 0 0.81 watts this one here it is equal to i square rms into rf plus rl rf is equal to 0 rms is we have calculated somewhere where is it i rms yes 20 milliampere 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square into rl which is equal to 5 kilo ohm i think 5 kilo ohm 5 into 10 to the power 3 that is equal to 0 0.81 divided by this will be equal to <coughs> equal to 2 this is denominator so it is 0 0.81 divided by 2 that is equal to Forty percent around zero point four zero five. It is equal to forty point five percent. This so always the half wave rectifier efficiency. It will always be around the forty percent mark. So this is the efficiency of the half wave rectifier. So again, a very good question which touched upon a new concept, which is the transformer utilization factor. And another thing here the transformer concept was not given directly in the question from the transformer utilization factor you have to understand that there is a transformer involved in the circuit and this voltage 200 cos omega t which is applied to the half wave rectifier circuit is basically the voltage across the secondary winding from that we determined all the parameters first the maximum value of current then the DC RMS ripple factor then the transformer utilization factor which is the product of the supply RMS and the RMS value of the half air rectified current both have different formulas then we determine the efficiency okay